Um, so today's video is a makeup video. I'm going to show you my favourite drugstore lipsticks. Now they're not my whole, um, all my favourite drugstore drug lipsticks. Thought I'd just show you five in this video because I think if I show more then the video will probably get too long. So let me know if you'd like to see more. Um, so I'll just get started with the first one. The first one I'm going to show you is a Maybelline lipstick and it's from the Colour Sensational line. The colour is 547 Pleasure Me Red, so it's a red lipstick, and it looks like this. As you can see, it's quite deep. And yeah, Jimmy Sheet, Jimmy Sheet, let me show you the packaging quickly. So the packaging looks like this. I really like the packaging, it feels sturdy and it's nice at the same time. And yeah, so red lipstick. Before, a few years ago, I never really used to go for red lipstick because I thought it didn't suit me and I wouldn't be able to find one that would go with my skin tone. And I was used to see reviews, well, not reviews, articles and things that would recommend um, for people with um, warm undertone to their skin to go for red lipsticks that have orange undertones to them and for people with cooler skin tones to go with reds that have cooler undertones to them now for me personally that doesn't work at least i don't feel that red lipstick with orange undertones um, suit me that well so i would recommend to you if you're um, trying to find a red lipstick that works for you don't think that you have to go with something that um, the rules tell you will work for you. You have to just find something that works for you personally. You have to find something that works with your skin tone, that brings, that works with your features and everything. So yeah, for me, I prefer red lipstick that has um, cool undertones to them. So there's kind of red lipstick that have like berry tones to them. So this particular lipstick, it does, it is a cooler red. It's not, um, it doesn't have an orange undertone to it or anything like that. So I'll just swatch it for you. Looks like that close. So yeah. Um the next lipstick is from L'Oreal and it's from the Colorish Serum line. The shade is in Radiant Rose and this is what the packaging looks like. Now, I don't really like this packaging. I find it too plasticky and kind of flimsy, but um, the color, this particular color is really nice. It's a really radiant, uh, <laughs> the name is Radiant Rose, so it is a really nice um, radiant, rich pink color. I'll just swatch it here. So that's what it looks like. Um yeah, I really like this lipstick, the um, whole colorish serum thing. It does go in really nicely and I feel it does moisturize my lips. And it's a really gorgeous pink color. If um, you want to try a, a strong pink color but don't want anything too um, shocking or garish or really, really strong, then try a shade like this one because it really is um, quite pretty. It is quite strong, but it's not um, too in your face. So I'd recommend this if you, if you want to try something, uh, a pink color that's quite radiant, but just isn't too strong or anything. So this lipstick and the Maybelline lipstick, they both have um, a sheen finish to them. They're not matte or anything or velvety. They do leave um, a nice shine to your lips. So the next lipstick is another L'Oreal lipstick and it's from the Caress line and the shade is in 501 Nude Ingenue, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. So this is what the packaging looks like. Now um, this packaging is okay, I think it um, works nicely with um, the idea of the, the, the range, the range is um, that the lipsticks are quite sheer, so hence the name caress. It's like a caress on your lips or something. So this is what um, the colour looks like. As you can see, it's 
quite brownish and I'll just watch it for you here I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up you see that? so as you can see it's quite um, a nice sheen finish to it as well and I feel like this is the perfect nude lipstick for darker skin tones for deeper skin tones like me because for example before um i i had seen videos with a lot of videos with max blankety and blog posts with max blankety and i thought it was really pretty and i wanted to buy it so i went to buy it but um when i tried it on myself it did not look right it was too light for my skin tone so it kind of made me look like a corpse so um, bear that in mind if you're after a nude lipstick and you've got a deeper skin tone then remember to go for lipsticks that um, are darker than what you'd normally think would be a nude lipstick so like this one is quite brown as I said so for deeper skin tones it works wonderfully as um, a nude lipstick I really like this one. I always reach for this whenever I've got done a um, smoky eye or done an eye that's quite dramatic. If I want a nude lipstick, if I haven't picked a different one, then this is the one that I will go for if I didn't pick it first. So yeah, this is a, the perfect nude lipstick for deeper skin tones. Definitely give it a go if you're into nude lipsticks. Um, the next one it's not necessarily a um, lipstick, it's with the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain. So the colour that I've got here is Darling Sherry. So this is what it looks like, it's a, like a purplish colour, you can see. And I'll just swatch it here. And because these are like um, balm stains, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up that well but yep seems to be picking it up okay so as you can see it's like um a purplish color i'm sorry the camera's not really focusing that well but yeah it's a purplish color with a, a cool tone to it so it's a coolish purple and yeah because it's the balm stain it's not strong or anything does it it's not highly pigmented like um the first lipstick so like the, the the Maybelline one like for example this one is quite pigmented so yeah if you want to try um vibrant colors but want something a bit more um muted that isn't gonna be too pigmented on your lips then go for these balm stays from Revlon and also the L'Oreal Caress line they also have very vibrant colors in in the Caress line but yeah, I really like this um, just bit and kissable balm stain. I just think the title's too long. They should have made it a bit shorter. But yeah, it's really nice. It goes on nicely to your lips. You don't even need a mirror to put it on because it's, um, it's a lip stain. It's not um, really pigmented or anything. So if you don't put it on perfectly, it's not going to be noticed or you won't even notice it yourself. You can just, it's the perfect thing to have in your bag to um, touch up your lips during the day so yeah I really like this and I'll probably be getting um, a few more colors in the, this line um, the last lipstick is the one that I'm wearing and it's by MUA and it's shade 2 so it looks like this it's a really um, gorgeous vibrant um, dark lipstick I really really like it so let me just swatch it here for you so yeah again this is um, a shade that maybe a few years ago I wouldn't have gone for because I thought it would be too vibrant or too dark for my skin or anything but um, yeah I've been more daring in the past few years and when I was checking out the anyway lipsticks I had to get a few because they're so cheap and yeah they're definitely worth your money this is pigmented quite pigmented goes on really really nicely it's a nice creamy lipstick gives you a nice um sheen to your lips once you put um the lipstick on 
doesn't dry out your lips or anything because it's not um, matte or anything like that. But yeah, I really like this. If you want to try um, something vibrant with a coolish undertone to it, this is the perfect, perfect lipstick. I really, really, really like this. So I definitely recommend this. Um, yeah, so those are all the lipsticks for now. If you'd like to see another video like this, then thumbs up and comment down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet for more updates and I'll see you next time. Bye!